Tramagbe shlama lo khin hiwas paila utile yu druita sat la barkatra gimditet Los Angeles donat America donat Los Angeles ikit khoza gashu kutum tiyo ke pons paila donas pai moratum tiwit mar khoza bis paratum da khoza da bulaytum shawba bitabakh kam trema kamadia ar poshiba iwa yumet permit authority که حالا دیازه نه نپیش رکنایز بیت کل دنیا نه نه که تن حقوقی هم بیاره. کم تا کل با سومریش کل هم تاوتوریتا. سر کد خامنن اتلاع خسام جاو. میکرد خبیت هم میکرد خب کل پد خانه شوی دو پر میبینه. شوم ما خمشی آلپ ناشی لی نخشه. خش بنم نام خبیشی عادی بتا خب یک مان میلیونه. سب ایجب گانو اسمان یوت من صد میلیونه. عادی نت من خمش هم میلیونه. اما خزوی نکات کم اخنق بیش ابرای کم عالتم پشت لازم تام. اتی خیم دنیا حقوقیم بیا ولا بیاتنی تو نم شکل آلا من اسمانی کات امسیتانی که من ترکیه کات قبلی را پر متعاطف رای ایل دوز بیه مخت قبلانت عرب نای مخویده قبلانت هولکاس اخنق یه پرخال ده قصد کات امسا حقوقیتان شکل خلا. این کامو هم دی بیش انتیه لی. اجیوما اخن گیان بقرايو کرسيانت ایراق اخن لش کرسيان ایراق اخن کرسيانت مشيخاي وخ کرسيانت مشيخ وخ اخن لي وخ آتورايت ایراق اخن لي وخ آتورايت آتور سب اخن آتور ديه نيله كه بوداي لگي گيان اخن آتورايت آتور لا کرسيانت ایراق لا آتورايت ایراق لا آتورتيش خدي كه خيته اخن آتورايت آتور ايراق کدای را که امن دی تخل آلو پلخ خن طلب خزم کل دنیا کاتنجاتی مگه خن آتورایت ارا لیوا کرسیان ایران لیوا خن کرسیان مشیخ لیوا آتورایت آتور لیوا. اهم زم ترا باش آپرت سودان تیوا خیتو تیوا کاتو هم ازیاری شکل مادل برگه حقوقی تن طلب خلا. اوی مدت عثمانی یکی تیوا تاخن تام گوک میدان بخای خوا. ما کرسیانه یه مقاطرای بخای خواه، یه لخ ما آتورد آتور، یه کرسیانه بخای، بشکات کرسیانه تا زکاتیم پرمیلم. لشیم ما لب لون لایش می‌دی، شوم و خمشی آلپ می‌دیم پرمیلم. او می‌تیله گاتریگو باشد، خامه یکی تک دیم هجوم گریشنه پریمانی نه، می‌دره بشیم از کرسیانه تا یه بشیم از آتورای یه یه گسته میله که دیم پرمیلم ما آتورای ایران، لب پریم ما آتورای آتور. سب کامو با حق متن با این شکل خواهد. اتیهی بی مدل برای گیان قرخلا کسیان مشیخه اطرایت آتور. آت خرخلا و دتاز باسوم رشید کل خا اطرایا کل دنیا علام منخلون سه دیانی یا بر خدکت پردازه گنورا پردازه بینی کامو امت دیان وجستر رابا امت دیان دم تو بخل رابا پریمانی نه سلیبانی نه لپیش خا جنایه. اخنا مادر باره گه تربخ لاقویتنه کرسیاند مشی خیابه آتورایت آتوری باخ آن تر خبران تخرخنون کد من با قور آگه کاتت نخله ما خب مشی ابد ایران ایران این دکان خیلی عین لخ آتراد تو عالم ادیبه گاو بخاید 
אין, אז אחד שר וביטבח. יום אתר פה שבעה, שר וביטבח, אמרתי לך, בתנאי מקרה שותה, אז יום תנאי את התורה, היה יום הקידוקילה, על אוכדן את פרמט, את יחובו מהבריש התורה, את הילה, פרמט דייבה. עוסמני, על אחד הגיוסים האלה, את השר וביטבח, היו היה פרש לני, כתם סחנן, היה יום, דוקח לי, כל לילה בין החיים ורשמיה, דוקח לי. אך נזר לך בלוס אנג'לס, שותפות את אלטורי לוס אנג'לס, תוך טובה, הלכתי כאילו שותה את הסכין הזה, כשאתה גמודית גאנו, היו מקינא תרא, על הודעה נדעני, המזמת הגאוי, חתכרת דיה גאוי. אך נזר לך משקל לן, עדי כתום במחזינה, נוטי סאם, חסם עוד יום הכתום במחזינה, חסם זה יום התלוש ודיטאיה. יום השבתא, סאם את כאילו במחזיח לגאן דישה, למחלת הגאו, תסביר איראן. ‫כל הפילום מרזיח לי. ‫עוד יום שם חמה את מרזיח לקראת האחרון, ‫לא שבע זה שם את טריין הדיון. ‫תאומון, תשקום, ‫כיילוכם מלפומון, ‫חוג'ית ותרמה, שם מיני, ‫המזמנה, חסם, ‫אינגליסה מזומנה, ‫ילדים, בתפרמילה, ‫בדיינה, מילה חבומה. ‫בצד נקראת האחרון, ‫אז אמרו דלה, יצווח, שמר, ‫יאללה, מייחלן ג'מחלון, ‫על דעה חוזה, שם מיני, ‫קשקי מילה חבומתו בשדיין. ‫פעשי מרבה. ‫אפשר כאן ראשונה, ‫שאנחנו נראה את זה על הווידאו. ‫פסי. Good evening, everyone. My name is Deanna Bitsamo, and I am the Executive Secretary of the Assyrian American Association of Southern California. On behalf of our board, I would like to welcome you all and thank you for joining us this evening. Assyrian Memorial Day is one of the most important days for us because it is a day we honor and remember our brothers and sisters who paid the ultimate sacrifice by giving their lives for their nation. However, it is also a day we reflect on our people's resilience because even after countless attempts to wipe our names from this earth, we have remained and our love for our nation and people has never been compromised. For our commemoration event this year, we have embodied the theme of activism and the importance of empowering our future. To start off our memorial commemoration, please stand for the flag procession Can everybody please stand up? Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing. Please, please put your right hand over your heart for the Psalm of Shubachan. Salmad Shubachan, Surtat Slawatan, Rushmat Khdayutan, Ati Wad Mughibti, Ati Mughibta, Bimromad Khirutan, Bimai Vin Bibaruya Khanana Tava, Rasi Wigani, Minkuli Rukhi, Rasus Tradisha, Dokhin Kuditli, Khati Bin Khaya, Khaptin Dlashlaya, Khashat Muramta, Khashat Mughidishta. خودلانی تخت برخت ل آلت شدخت مچن را خانی مچن یا خانی آتت به نهر آتور کدشت آتت به نهر آتور کدشت Thank you, Scout Troop Six Seven Three Two. Now please stay standing as I welcome the incredibly talented Yasmin who will lead us in our national anthem. Oh. 
say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the Now everyone, please stand, stay standing for a moment of silence in honor of the victims of the recent mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, and Gilroy, California. And now I would like to welcome to the stage members of the clergy, Core Bishop Father George Betreshu from St. Mary's Assyrian Church of the East, Core Bishop Atanasis Tuma from Marshalita Parish, Ancient Church of the East, and Pastor William Nissan from the Assyrian Church of Nineveh. Thank you. We will open up with a prayer, our Lord's Prayer in Aramaic, our Lord's Prayer in the same language that Christ recited it. And then we will together say a hymn. This hymn goes back 1,500 years. Uh, persecution started back then to our people. So these hymns were written for martyrs. We will say just a few uh, verses of it, and then we will recite a couple of prayers. Together. Shemaur <laughs> Howlan Lachma Sukan and Yoman, Mashuklan Hoben, a Canada Bernash, Wakan Hayawin, La Tala Lissuna, and La Passam and Bisha, Motol di Lari Melkuta, Hela Tish Bokta, Ola Aran of Katswath Horn, Sade Paddy, shall we say Nora? Marba Benyadet Al Marba, Walam Sabaru. Tlita yudam shabakta, awa wa wa ruh kudsha. Sofete walem elayhon, dom yad aire, dam yusade, har ala aram al khilwa wa amzata akul nash. Wa umal ayul albam rome, amma la khim dayrin wa shukha. Shlama <laughs> 
Heavenly Father, you have taught us to trust in your name at all times, in times of pleasure and that of sorrow, and through the ups and downs of life. You have been with our Assyrian nation from the beginning of times and have named it the rod of your hand. We took your cross and delivered your message as we were taught by your disciples. We are being massacred and oppressed by evil governments who are ruthless because they understand not your ways, love, or mercy. As we gather here remembering the, all the fallen heroes of our Assyrian nation and all of those who have sacrificed their life by shedding their holy and innocent blood because of the continuous genocides to protect and defend their people and their nation that they may live in freedom one day. Instill in us, O Lord, your spirit of bravery and unite us so together as one Assyrian nation that we carry on the battle against evil and his hosts and to bring justice to the oppressed, freedom to the captives, liberty to the constrained. We seek strength in your name, and we pray for unity to work together for one common cause with our brothers and sisters from the Armenian and Greek communities with whom we share the same fate. Bless us, O Lord, and bless the souls of our fallen heroes. May they rest in eternal peace amongst all the righteous who walked in your path and fulfilled your will, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 شقلنا لصليوخ ممطيلا مشختوخ داخل بشدم تلمد بتلميدوخ بياشا وخ بريمة ورديبة بيت شلطان طرون ومعروضة من سبب دلية طيل أرخاتوخ الخبوخ ومرخمانوتوخ اد يوم كفيشة وخلخة لتخار السهدن وجبارة أمتن آتوريتا آني دوخن وخيب تابخت الدمي بريرة بسبب برمي أمينة اد اتيان على الأمتن قنطرت ابن أمتن تخيب خيروتا بريبا يا مريا روخ خمرختا وخدي وخيد لن أخا أمتا أطوريتا دهاوخ بكوتاشا دلق البيشا وخيلواتا وقد شريا كينوتا بالطليمة خيروتا بين يخسيرة وبوصايا قامو إيقي منه ببايا وخيلا وصالوية وخ قابو تخويادا دهاوخ ببلاخ الخاني شطاوة على عم شوطة داخل واتن أرمناية ويوناية بعيد أب أني بشويوتنا عمن جداها أغونا بارق لن يامريا وبارق الجانات السهدا جبارة قد هاويل ياخ أبدينايا عم كل كينة أني نطر البجدانخ وتممن الرزايخ الموضوعية والزغادة شمو قديشة بابا برون قش العلمين آمين, آمين. I'd like to recognize elected officials that are here tonight from the California State Assembly, Assembly members Adrin Nazarian, Luz Rivas, and Christy Smith, from the Los Angeles, from the Los Angeles City Council. From the Los Angeles City Council, we have can council members Paul Krikorian and Bob Blumenfield, and we also have with us representatives from many other elected officials. From Congressman Adam Schiff's office, Mary Havagimian. From Congressman Brad Sherman's office, John Brock. 
From the Office of Los Angeles Mayor, Eric Garcetti, Caroline Mangivar. From the Office of California State Senator, Anthony Portentino, Arda Tachakian. From the Office of Assembly Member, Laura Friedman, Victoria DeCoglian. From the Office of Assembly Member, Jesse Gabriel, Tiffany Zaytunian. From the Office of LA County Supervisor, Catherine Barger, Nicole Vartanian. From the Office of City Council, City Council Member, Mitch O. We have Amy Ablicat, and from the Office of LA City Council Member, Paul Coretz, Greg Mart Martion. Now please join me in welcoming Assyrian American Association of Southern California President, Ramon Tash. Shalom Alochon Ram Shochon Tawa, good evening. Uh, honorable guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to our home, your home, the Assyrian American Association of Southern California. Uh, I'll be just giving a brief introduction to our event, but before uh, before I do that, uh, Deanna, who uh, 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 recognized our elected officials and their representatives, I want to recognize some of other uh, community partners and other organizations that are here among us. I do want to start with our esteemed clergy who gave some uh, a beautiful hymn uh, just now to Core Bishop George Berreshu, Core Bishop Atanasis, Pastor William, Father Polis. Uh, thank you very much for also being our community partners. Uh, to the Assyrian Democratic Movement and Lil Potros, uh, to our good friend Sabri Atman from the Assyrian Genocide Research Center. Uh, thank you so much for your support as well and being community partners. Yes, it is true that we, like the, or the organization that spearheads this event is our organization, but it really is a community effort uh, in this town. It is like one big family. Uh, it is, the Assyrian family is one big family throughout the world. And uh, we're honored to always work together, collaboratively with our, all of our institutions uh, for the general benefit of our people, of our nation as a whole. I wanted to recognize uh, some other organizations that are here, our brothers and sisters from the Armenian community, uh, the Armenian National Community of America, uh, Nora Hovzepian, Hovzepian uh, Armin Sahaki, and the rest of their team. We were honored to uh, institutionalize our, uh, our uh, uh, relationship with the Memorandum of Understanding a couple weeks ago. Uh, the plight of the Armenians and the Assyrians uh, goes back a long time. We've experienced the best of times and the worst of times. Uh, but, and even today, uh, the struggle does continue with uh, what, hap what is happening with the Assyrian people in the Nineveh Plain and the plight of the Armenian people in Artsakh. So we're honored that you guys are here. Mehran Tomajin from the Armenian Assembly of America, thank you so much for coming. Our Greek brothers and sisters, the American Hellenic Council, Christiana and Dr. Dimitriou, uh, we have representatives from the Iranian American Jewish Federation, Zohre and Susan. Thank you so much. And uh, we also have the, from the leading Assyrian national organization, the Assyrian American National Federation, uh, Mr. Alan Moshek. And, uh, and but, but of course, last and not least, thank you all for coming uh, on this evening that we call uh, Remember the Fallen, Empower the Future. Now we've gathered here again on August 7th to pay tribute to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their nation. And as has been talked about, this day has been designated in honor of the massacres of 1933 in Semele in northern Iraq that resulted in the deaths of four to 6,000 Assyrians. However, the day has come to recognize and honor all Assyrians who have paid that sacrifice. The two-thirds of our nation that were killed in the genocide of World War I orchestrated by the Ottoman Empire, which took the lives as well of, of 1.5 million Armenians and hundreds of thousands of Greeks. It has also come to... Uh, recognize the Assyrian martyrs at the hands of ruthless bathification and more recently the plight of our people at the hands of an, unfath an unfathomable evil in Iraq and Syria. Now this is our Memorial Day where we honor and remember the fallen but as important as August 7th is in our community and I know I've said this before but I really want to say this again as soon as that plane uh, hovers over. Uh, as important as this day is it's all the same way with Armenians with April 24th and the same with, with Greeks uh, in May for their uh, Genocide Remembrance Day. It's each and every day that we fight for justice. It's each and every day we spread the word of the plight of our people, the resilience of our peoples. To fight for justice, waving our flags proudly, it has to be 365 days a year to maintain our rich heritage, resisting the architects of denial, and so on. It's something we can do each and every day in our lives from educating a friend to becoming proactive in community engagement. And that is part of why we have chosen, uh, the theme of course is remember the fallen and power of the future, but another uh, 
theme that, we're, uh, that is being underscored this year is activism and service. Now we have many here this evening, that have, and I've mentioned many of those names, that have worked hard for their respective causes in the fields of activism and service. And, but more so as, as a stateless people, Assyrians have had to be active and fight every single day for over a hundred years to make their voices heard, to speak loudly, to share the cause, to fight for our rights, to fight for the future of our nation. And this goes all the way back to the turn of the 20th century. And inside tonight, following our program, we've showcased a small exhibit of some of our most famous activists who have tirelessly advocated for the Assyrian people and who were influential in shaping the narrative of the Assyrian national question and its future. Now, the exhibit is by no means exhaustive. There are many people that have devoted their lives to it, but we had to just uh, did like a, s a sample, and I just want to highlight some of them. Dr. Freydun Bet Eprim, that is more affectionately known in our community as Freydun Al Turaya, who was an intellectual poet who founded, intellectual, intellectual poet and writer, who founded the first Assyrian political party during the throes of the genocide, who called for a united free nation in his homeland and devoted his life to the cause. And he did ultimately pay the ultimate sacrifice by being imprisoned and then being and dying in prison. Someone like Professor Asher Yusuf, who was an intellectual and a Syrian patriot that was executed by the Turkish government in 1915. And we actually have uh, uh, some relatives of Professor, Professor Asher Yusuf here this evening. Uh, His Holiness Mar Isha Shumun, who at the age of 11 assumed the role of the patriarchy of the Church of the East. And that was two years after that his uncle, who was the patriarch, Mar Ben Yaman Shumun, was ruthlessly executed during the genocide. He, Marisha Shumun, despite his young age and, and, and soon uh, getting educated at Cambridge, he advocated for the Assyrian people as a whole uh, to the League of Nations on several occasions, as well as in front of the newly formed United Nations in 1945. There's Naum Faik, who, who was a man who sought to awaken the national con Assyrian national consciousness with his writings. David Purley, who was the founder of the Assyrian American National Federation. The legendary Ninos Aho. Uh, who we've honored each and every year of these past uh, couple years, of which members of his family are also here today, and so many more. We chose to highlight these individuals, and as I said, it was an ex it's not an exhaustive list, because they all came from different backgrounds, from different regions. They were of different religious sects, but they all tirelessly advocated for their people, and they devoted their lives to this undertaking. And they broke down the artificial barriers of tribalism, sectarianism, etc. Now, while our program, like I said, is centered around activism and service, the general theme is and has been remember the fallen and power of the future. Now, reg with regard to that, we've show we have also showcased some artistic projects you'll see uh, in, the, in the reception afterward that reflect the re resilience and perseverance of our people. A people that at one point could not be Assyrian freely, speak their language, play music, claim they're Assyrian, and so on, practice their faith freely. This year, we're honored again to showcase the incredibly talented Paul Beitu, and as if you've seen in our promotional materials, it was his new painting uh, that we were honored to uh, put on our promotional materials. We also have an exhibit called Assyrian Stories by a young journalist named Joe Snell. And if anyone follows the wildly popular uh, social media uh, account called Humans of New York, uh, it kind of takes after that. It has pictures of different Assyrians from different places around the world, from the villages of Iraq to a young Assyrian in Portland, Oregon, which proves yet again we really do have Assyrians everywhere. And, uh, and we do have a special wall that we'll be announcing uh, later on this evening uh, about details as well. Now lastly, over my left shoulder, there's a quote you'll see on the bottom of the banner, and you may be asking yourself why it is there. It's a quote by our keynote speaker, Savina Dawood, who has emerged as one of the leading young activists in the world, and we're so honored to have her here this evening. Uh, what she doesn't know is that the day on August 8th of last year, a few of the members of our team, we discussed it, and we we thought that this year's theme for the following year would be activism and service, and the first person that came to mind for our keynote was her, and uh, we knew right then and there, and there was no one really more fitting. Now, I don't want to get into detail about this point because she will be conveying it much more eloquently than me, but what I will say is that her work, along with the work of other activists, uh, certain activists, and who, those who have served in their communities throughout the world are a testament that the struggle keeps going, that we, that we won't be deterred, and that we are resilient, proud people who will sustain and enrich our cultural, linguistic, and ethnic identity. And lastly, to any, anyone here, there's people that have mentioned that have taken the time, volunteer efforts to work for their people, I want to say thank you. Uh, it, 
we do it, whether you're a Syrian, Armenian, Greek, Jewish, or whatever, we do it because we have a passion. The spark is lit in, in each and every one of us. And uh, sometimes the battles can be a bit tough. Uh, people may not know like the inner workings and you know, trying to satisfy a lot of people or, or the frustrations. But you know, sometimes it's fighting and failing, fighting and failing, and then fighting and succeeding and succeeding to uh, places that you wouldn't even imagine. So I want to say thank you for all of those that take the time and effort to work for their nations, to work for their people and their communities for their betterment. Uh, and thank you again for coming. California State Assembly member, Adrin Nazirian of the 46th District, has been a champion in the ongoing pursuit of justice for Assyrians, Armenians, and Greeks regarding the horrific genocide committed over 100 years ago. He has been a friend of this association in our community, and we are pleased to have him here this evening. Please welcome Assembly Member Adrin Nazirian. Good evening. It's a wonderful honor to be here with you tonight as we commemorate uh, our ancestors who fell 104 years ago. Um, we commemorated the Armenian Genocide in April. Uh, we also did commemorate the genocide of the Greeks in May in the Senate. And uh, we will also be recognizing the Assyrian Genocide on the assembly floor in August. Uh, I also want to take a moment and thank the wonderful organization led by Raymond and John uh, for not only hosting events like this to commemorate, but also taking part in events and activities in various capitals, whether in City Hall, in State Assembly in Sacramento, or at the federal, in the, at the federal level in Washington, D.C. Uh, Ray said something very fitting, um, which sometimes I wonder if some of my colleagues that I serve with um, appreciate or understand. Those of us who come from cultures that have been around for thousands of years, or at least from cultures that have felt oppression, don't think about events once a year. It lives and breathes in us every day. Every day, at some point, we relive moments witnessed by our ancestors. We pay homage in some way. We do something that advances the interest of those that fell. And we do that because it's almost genetic. We don't know it any other way. When I was elected to represent in 2012, the Armenian community, Assyrian community, Greek communities, even Jewish and any other oppressed minorities, very small in my district. But when I speak about the issues, everyone relates to it because everyone has had some challenge in their history, in their background. So it's critical sometimes if we also don't think that some of our colleagues, whether it be in politics, whether in any arena, don't understand or relate to some of the issues, it's critical that we continue pressing the issues forward. I've struggled for the last four years now to move forward a bill which will be divesting California bonds, uh, pension bonds, bo pension funds from Turkish bonds. It reached the governor's desk last year, and unfortunately, it was one of the last bills he vetoed, uh, partially, I think, because he just th did not want to engage in international issues. I think with this governor, it's going to be different. I think it's gonna be critical that we all also make our voices heard, not to only to our representatives, because I think most of our representatives understand, but for our governor also to know that this is not just an Armenian issue. 
that this is a Greek issue, this is an Assyrian issue, and this is an issue of all oppressed individuals, especially oppressed individuals coming from the Middle East area. Um, I can't help, help but to also think about uh, French, Czech writer, philosophers, quote, the struggle of man against power is the struggle of memory against forgetting. It took me some time to appreciate that when I first read it because uh, for me, I never thought I'd have an issue forgetting. But life as it evolves, it sometimes softens those edges. And as those edges are softened, sometimes it's easy to let go of some things. But it's critical as we look at the four wonderful scouts that were standing here to make sure that they know the history and they remember it and they continue to pass it forward so that future generations remember as well and don't make the same mistakes. Unfortunately, even in the United States, right now, when we're seeing what's happening with our federal government, who would have thought that in an advanced country such as ours, who's provided so much opportunity, that we would be falling so behind that at this point, other countries are telling their tourist citizens who are planning to arrive to the United States to take caution and maybe not travel to the United States given recent incidents. So I thank you also for recognizing the mass deaths that we've had because as of Monday, in the 217th day of this year, we've had 255 mass shootings, more than one per day. So that tells you how unfortunate it is that it's easily forgettable when some things even in a place like the United States, should never be forgotten. So thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do on a daily basis. I look forward to continuing working with you. Thank you. The American Hellenic Council is a nonpartisan political advocacy organization whose goal is to promote democracy, human rights, peace, and stability in Southern Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean. We have been honored to have built a great relationship with our Greek brothers and sisters over the past several years, and we look forward to continuing our partnership. Speaking today on their behalf is President Dr. James Dimitriou. I'm only 5'9", so I have to readjust that. <laughs> uh, thank you. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to share this evening with you. It's an honor to share the memory of those who have fallen, those who have been lost, those who have been forgotten. Let's not make them forgotten. It's time for all of us to join together, because we all have suffered. Whether you're Assyrian, Armenian, Greek, the Pontian Greeks, the Anatolian Greeks, uh, all suffered. All told, we lost over three million people and have continued to be plagued, as the Assyrians well know, well into the current days, the current century, uh, the current decade even. Uh, this is a time period that we have to not only remember but really devote ourselves to empower for a future that says no one should be forgotten, no bad deed should be ignored, nothing in history can be left out of history purposely. It's a time period for us to join together, to speak with one voice, to recognize what a genocide meant because it's a calculated effort to extinguish a race, a group, an ethnicity. It's not an accident, it's not an act of war, it's a, uh, an act against humanity. And this is what we have to stand up for. 
for the Assemblyman's Bill to cut off uh, the investments in Turkey to prevent Turkey from continuing their efforts, but to also to recognize the history completely and say what a genocide is and why it is. It is the definition of genocide based on the Armenians that the United Nations adopted. Why have we forgotten it? We can't afford to forget it. My family go goes back to the same area. Our island of Mamara was also vacated and taken to uh, Anatolia. Less than half ever uh, returned, including most of my father's family. The generations don't forget. My, summer, my son today is working in Saris, Greece, in a Syrian refugee camp. In recognition for the Syrians that took in the Greeks that escaped the, the genocide of that era. He is there now working. That's the message we have to continue to the second, to the third, to other generations. Why have we forgotten that meaning? Why haven't we joined together sooner? Let's change that. Let's move together. I'm reminded that a hundred years ago, the ambassador of the United States to the Ottoman uh, Sultan was Henry Morgenthau. And yet today, the United States will not say what a genocide is? Let me read to you his account that was given to the president at that time. Will the outrageous terrorizing, the cruel torturing, the driving of women into harems, the debauchery of innocent girls, the sale of many of them at 80 cents each, the murdering of hundreds of thousands and the deportation to and starvation in the deserts of other hundreds of thousands, the destruction of hundreds of villages and cities will willful execution of this whole devilish scheme to annihilate the Armenian, the Greek, the Assyrian people and the Christians of Turkey Will all this go unpunished and unrecognized? That's the ambassador of the United States 100 years ago. Do we owe it to his memory to remember? Do we owe it to the memory of those we lost and to the future generations? I stand with you committed. I stand with you ready. And the American Hellenic Council is here to lend that support and to work together. Let's remember those who have fallen, but let's empower the, the future. Thank you. California State Assemblywoman Christy Smith is one of the newly elected members of the California State Legislature. Assemblywoman Smith oversees the 38th California Assembly District, which includes Santa Clarita and Simi Valley. We are honored to have her join us this evening. Please welcome to the stage Assemblywoman Christy Smith. Good evening. It's an honor to be here with you tonight uh, for the first time. Uh, as I am a newly elected assembly member, uh, it was an honor and a thrill to meet members of the Assyrian community who do reside in my district and, and joined you all here this evening. Uh, it is a wonderful event um, to come together to recognize, even when it's in recognition of loss. Because as the second part of tonight's event theme recognizes, we owe it to our children to empower the future. And there is no better way to empower the future than to educate them about the richness and the challenges of their history, but give them the tools, the equipment, the humanity to embrace the future in a better way than our ancestors have done and perhaps we ourselves have done. And as a mother, as a member of this community, as a state legislator, I worry for our country right now. I worry for our world. 
I worry that we once again hear the rise of voices who would choose to oppress, who would choose to segregate, who would choose to single out, to elevate hate above hope, and to elevate thoughtlessness and carelessness above courage and love. So I honor the work that the Assyrian American Association continues to do across the world, particularly here in California, in our communities. I stand with you in this work, recognizing the challenge that we all have ahead, but the fact that we owe it to one another to link hearts, to link arms, to embrace our spirits, and to understand that it is our diversity that will continue to make us strong, to give us power, and to live to see a better day for our children. So with that in mind, I'd like to recognize Ray's work and the work of the board this year. I have some certificates to recognize that, to add my voice to your continuing work and to appreciate the leadership that you've demonstrated. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblymember Smith. California State Assembly member Luz Rivas is a new member of the California State Assembly. Our association looks forward to bridging a formidable partnership with her office in the upcoming future. We thank her for joining us today. Please welcome to the stage Assemblymember Rivas. Thank you so much for inviting me. I want to thank the um, association for inviting me today. I'm very excited to be here to commemorate the Memorial Day and to um, think about what August 7th means, especially um, at this time. Um, I also want to thank my colleague, um, Assemblymember Adrian Nazarian, um, for being our champion in Sacramento. Um, he has, he has um, led a coalition or, you know, created a coalition of assembly members and senators um, and to, for a lot of us to learn from him about genocide and how important it is to remember. Um, and, you know, I really like the theme for tonight, remember the fallen, empowering the future. I think of the young people and how they really need to be empowered and educated. You know, genocide should be part of our curriculum in school. Um, we need to make sure that every child of all ethnic groups knows about this history um, that just happened only 104 years ago. Um, but unfortunately, I think some of us have forgotten, um, especially with these recent incidents. And I think it really shows that we have to keep educating. And I, I was really touched with some of the comments that you made, Ray, on how for you this is something you think about every day. And a lot of you today, your actions, what you do day to day um, is making someone in your community that you interact with remember um, what happened um, 104 years ago and make sure that none of us forget. Um, so thank you for inviting me today. I'm very excited to be here. I represent this area. Um, and so I definitely look forward to developing a relationship with your association. Thank you. The Armenian National Committee of America is an Armenian American grassroots political organization who we have been honored to have partnered with these past several years in their March for Justice. Recently, we institutionalized this partnership with a memorandum of understanding and cooperation between our two organizations. Please welcome their executive director, Armin Sahakian. Shalom alochun. Good evening, everyone. Honorable clergy, esteemed elected officials and public servants, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First, I wish to thank the Assyrian American Association of Southern California, our freshly minted official coalition partner, 
for organizing this important commemoration ceremony and inviting us to partake as well. The Armenian National Committee of America Western Region Office and the uh, Syrian American Association of Southern California, which was already alluded to earlier, have recently institutionalized our relations and have put forth the objectives of supporting the inalienable right to self-determination of the Assyrians in the Nineveh Plains, upholding the independence of the Republic of Artsakh, and seeking truth and justice for the genocide of 1915 as co-victim nations. Tonight, we have gathered to remember the fallen. Remembrance is an integral part of our human experience. Generations have been passing on their memories and experience onto the next to propel us all forward and to guard against the evils of the past. For the fraternal Assyrian, Greek, and Armenian nations, whose intertwined history stretch back into the antiquity, remembrance has a special significance. From the prehistoric stone-carved tablets to the intricately illustrated manuscripts of the medieval times, to the elaborate toasts around the table and the modern digital forms of communication, we continue to pass on the wisdom, traditions, and stories of our ancestors onto the younger generations. Remembrance, however, would be meaningless without an underlying call to action. What are we to do with the stories of the past if not help us guide into the future? into a more peaceful, prosperous, and just world than the one that we inherited. And what better example to illustrate this point than that with the example of the Assyrians, Greeks, and the Armenians. Survivor nations, victorious nations, that despite, their, despite being subjected to the most vile and gruesome of crimes, the international crime of genocide, rose from the ashes and the dust of the Syrian desert animated by the stories of the past, with the blood of their proud tribes throbbing through their veins, with renewed energy and resolute determination, not only to survive, but to live and thrive. We remember the horrors that befell our peoples during the Seifo, the Armenian genocide, the Greek genocide at the hands of the Ottoman Turkish government. We also remember the Simela massacre, the Turkish invasion of Cyprus, the Azerbaijani aggression against Artsakh and the destruction of civilization in Nakhichevan. We remember to safeguard the truth, and not just for its own sake, but truth in the service of justice. As long as it may take, the arc of history does eventually bend towards justice, and that justice we shall receive. Through our activism, our determination, and our unity, we have been chipping off one brick at a time from the thick wall of denial of the Turkish government and, not, and will not rest until truth and justice are served for our nations. From remembrance to action. From remembrance to action. That's my call to all of you tonight, to continue educating, raising awareness, advocating, motivating, and activating more and more people to help us carry the torch of justice on our march ahead. Thank you very much.